Hello there, this is Coach John here from Learning, Learning Out of the Box. And today we're going to talk about this PSIE 223 paper 2 questions uh, 17. Okay, so okay, let's take a look at this question. Okay, first of all, we always do the CU, yeah, C for circling of numbers. Okay, let's so let's circle. Okay, and then uh, okay, circle, and then under uh U for underlining of keywords. All right. Okay, so there are two numbers here, and then uh, let's see what happens. Okay, so we have this trapezium here, and this there are three identical trapeziums together. Yeah. Uh, how do we know that they are identical? Um, it says here three such. <clears throat> so three such also means that the rest are the same. And for the math question, you normally see them use the word identical. Yeah. Okay, so it seems like there's one here and there's a group of three of them here. So the only way to compare them is what if we have three of them together um, with three of them sticking to each other. Okay, so so um, so that we can like make them the same, right? Otherwise, how are you going to compare one with three? And especially their arrangement is so uh, awkwardly different. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now when we have three of them together, so, um, what do we do about it? Yeah, all right. And of course, uh, looking at these two numbers, it probably uh, may involve some addition or subtraction. And the reason is because uh, we can't do division of times. Uh, it'll be very awkward because uh, then for higher level uh, learning, then your units will be cancelled off. Yeah, all right. So, it'll be either a, subtraction or add addition, yeah. And then having, having said that, then that sh it should be an apple to apple comparison. So at least let's have three of these together first. Okay, so when there are three of these, so since the parameter of one of these is, how much is uh, 96 cm? So three of them will be three times 96 cm, which is 28 cm. Yeah, okay, so now we can take a good look at um figure two. Okay, figure two when there are figure two when there are three of them and it's at 204 cm. Okay, 204 cm as well as 28 cm. Okay, so let's see what we can do about that. Okay, so now the let's look at the difference uh physically. Okay. 28 cm will be all four sides times three. So there's, there's a total of uh, 12 sides. Yeah. So now in this case, are there 12 sides here? Or what's the difference? In this case, uh, this side is covered. This side is covered as well. Okay. And this side is covered. This side is covered as well. Okay, so four sides of the trapeziums um are covered. So let's call them uh S, okay? Yeah. So these four S are, are not in 204 because they are covered. So and these four S are part of 28 because when we put them inside, we do count this as well. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now we take two eight eight minus of two zero four, which is eighty four cm. Okay, then one s will be eighty four divided by four to give you 21 cm. So that's the answer for, for your PQ. Okay, so to write your PQ is actually uh, 1S, which is equals to 21 cm. Okay, all right. Okay, so moving on, um, CIE joins another four such reasons to form figure three, which has an area of 1932 cm. Okay, in this case, uh, trapezium is an odd shape to most prime sixers because um they are not very familiar with it. So we call this odd shape. 
Yeah. And rectangle is something that is more familiar, so we call them basic shape. So in this question, we have a technique in LOB called the BO, not body order, but it stands for basic shape to find odd shape. So what's the basic shape here? It's a rectangle to find the trapezium. Yeah. I mean, you hardly hear children using trapezium, probably just a uh, one or two questions, but not like how they are assembled into a unique figure. Okay. Yeah. So with this in mind, the basic shape that we have here is actually a rectangle. So let's just see what we can do about it. Okay. All right. Okay. So now he's talking about uh, length, right? So we have area. So this is the, this is like two rectangles. So the most basic shape is one rectangle. So one rectangle will be one nine three two divided by two. It gives you ninety six cm, uh, ninety six uh, cm square. Okay. Then after that, then after that, and this is area and this is length. So definitely we need to activate area of rectangle is length times breadth. So to find the length, which is the this is the length. This is the length. This side is your length, and then this side is from part A. And remember, part A answer can always be used for part B. So this is 21. So the length itself is 966 divided by 21, which is equals to 46 cm. Yeah. And this 46 cm, right, is part of it is actually what you want to find. And knowing that. Okay, and knowing that we need to understand how they are aligned. Okay, so this okay, then this is actually the same as which one as as uh this. Okay, and then uh we have twelve cm here, and at the same time, this part is actually from PQ, which is 21 cm. Okay, so the whole thing itself uh, is actually 46 cm. So to find question mark here is actually 46 minus of this minus of this. And we'll get the answer already. Okay, so uh, RLS is actually 46 minus 21 minus 12, which is equals to 13 cm. And that's your answer. Okay, so to summarize, this uses BO, which is Body order, okay, no lah. It's actually basic to find odd shape. Okay, I hope that helps. See you in the next video. And if you like the video and find that it's useful, please do uh subscribe to our channel and like the and like the video, okay?